My name is Christian Jocelyn, and I'm a paramedic from North Shore, Long Island Jewish. When people ask me what I do, yes, I'm a paramedic. I'm trained in emergency medicine. But really, what I really think our job comes down to is, you know, you're there to alleviate some suffering in somebody's life at that day. You want to show them that you care. You want to show them that you're trying to understand what they're going through. Let them know that you're there to help them. We receive a lot of training as EMTs and paramedics, especially working for North Shore because we serve a lot of different patients, we serve a lot of different needs. So we do rotations in the ICU, we do rotations in the operating room, we do rotations in OBGYN, we do rotations in pediatrics, we do rotations in psychiatry, we go to the morgue. And all this is to have practice on the skills that, you know, uh, life-saving techniques. So as a department, you know, system-wide, we respond to about 130,000 calls for assistance every year. So not all those calls might be somebody we're taking to the hospital. It might be just somebody picking up the phone and saying that we need help. Can you come? So we just got a uh, call. It's a 79-year-old uh, male at a nursing home with leg pain. Some of the most common patients that we run into are the elderly. With that population, there are a lot of considerations that we want to take them. For about 35, 40 minutes, that's how long of an encounter we have with a patient, average encounter, we're their family member, we're their advocate, we're their caretaker. We're given the responsibility to make sure that their needs are met for that short period that we have. You know, we're going to be in high stress situations, going into new environments and every call, going into other people's environments. So I want to go in in the best possible mindset so uh, I could do the best for my patients. You try and keep them like an even keel throughout the whole entire day and not, you know, not match the intensity of the situation. You're there to alleviate an emergency. You don't want to add to it. So you want to be calm, you want to be collected, you want to stay pretty much at an even keel. I'm continually surprised at work. There's not a day that doesn't go by that I'm surprised by something that you see, something that you hear, something that you come across. You're always learning. We got a call for a we call them neuro rescues out of uh, Southside Hospital. It was for a woman who had uh, bleeding on the brain. She had some sort of aneurysm. So we headed over there, lights and sirens, and uh, we walked in as they're trying to stabilize this patient. They call us to bring the patient over to North Shore University Hospital in Manhattan. Okay. Hold it. X-ray nine. Okay. 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 Okay really worked together as a team to stabilize the patient. They secured her airway, they uh, gave her medications to control her blood pressure, they also drilled a, a burr hole into her head to alleviate some of the pressure that's building up from the blood being on the brain. So all of these things that they had done in the emergency room, we had to continue them en route to, uh, to North Shore. 2773, let's go up and let's get out. All right, guys. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We provided the same level of care and monitoring that was the patient was receiving in the emergency room. We provided them for that 30, 45 minute ride to North Shore where the neurosurgeons could work to save her. When you know, we transport a patient like that successfully, when we manage all the, uh, 
all the medications, all the equipment, everything that's going on, driving down the LIE, you know, we know that, you know, it, it's a pretty good feeling that you, you've, you've helped, a, uh, helped a sick person. With the field of EMS as a whole, you know, it, it kind of gets blended in or, or lost in the lost in the mismatch of public safety. Okay. Our event is off. So what I really want people to take away from is that, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, you know, on Christmas, on New Year's. If I'm coming into your house, you're going to get the best possible medical care that you can get. Even if it's not me coming to your house, any EMT or paramedic that you have, they are committed to making sure that, you know, they're providing you with the highest level of care that they can. I work with the best EMTs and paramedics in the region. People come to work every day. They, uh, they, have, passion, they have a passion for what they do. They're committed to the patients. They're committed to their jobs. They're committed to the department. We're out here, we're here for you, you know, we're, we're committed.